Cheers is filmed before a live studio audience. Sheesh. <laughs> Two Lilliths. This is like a nightmare I had once. You too? <laughs> I snuck out of the house. So don't tell Lilith. But to herself. Oh, he'll be here any minute. He's still up having lunch with Miss Howe's sister, Miss Howe. Oh, you mean Rebecca's sister's in town. Susan Howe, the, uh, the movie star. You mean THE Susan Howe? The star of Night of the Mutants? <laughs> you saw it? Well, yes, little than I rented it last week. Oh, really? You two don't seem like the slasher movie type. Oh, well, purely for scientific purposes, of course, but, you know, this is Miss Brudge, I rather enjoyed it. See, I think films with scenes of graphic disembowelment and mutilation can, in, in some cases, help people to, well, release some of the fears and aggressions of modern society. Also, it's the first time Lilith's mother went home before nine, screaming. <laughs> hey, everybody. Oh, Miss Howe. Uh, I'm Dr. Fraser Crane. Uh, my wife and I rented you a film, Night of the Mutants, last week, and, uh, well, I was wondering, um, could I have your autograph? Ah, sure. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I tell you what, just make it out to Mother Sternin. <laughs> and say, if you would, I know where you live, and I'm going to get you. Fraser, Lilith, excuse me. I know you're probably on your way somewhere. Yes, we are. But when aren't we? <laughs> it's just that I have this really bad problem. It's getting so bad that I can't even sleep at night. Oh, I'm sorry, Rebecca. We do have this important lunch. You see, I've been having these erotic dreams. Well, lunch be damned. Our friend is in need. <laughs> and all of a sudden, she reaches down to her neck and she peels off her face. And there's Al here. <laughs> and I woke up in a cold sweat. So you never did get to finish the dream? Oh. I was awake by then, so I switched on movies till dawn. You know, they were showing that one with Buddy Hack and the Duck, so of course I was up for the rest of the night then. <laughs> so, uh, Sam, do you remember anything else about the dream? Oh, man, it was the eeriest thing. I mean, it was real, you know, it was vivid, like you were, like real life. Sammy, that's a premonition dream. That means it's really gonna happen. Oh, Carter, that's an old wives' tale. I'm an old wife. <laughs> know about these things. Rebecca is gonna tell Sammy that something ain't right between her and Daddy Big Bucks. Really? Yep. Wow. Oh, please. <laughs> well, now, Carla may have a point there. Excuse me, while I was blinking, did we all just suddenly time travel back to the age of the Druids? <laughs> I'm not saying the dream was psychic. But perhaps your subconscious mind has observed something subtle between Rebecca and Robin Colcord that disturbs you. Well, I know how to find out right now. Sammy, give me some of your fingernail clippings. I'll have Madame Lazora burn them and inhale them while she's in a trance. Oh, take Lilith along. The three of you can gather around the kettle and stir. <laughs> oh, a Boston paper. Is it? The restaurant review section. Restaurant? <laughs> of course, they're raving about Laporta's. $200 for a dinner, how decadent. No doubt about it. Our society is in decay. Can you believe we actually frequented that place? Perfumed and pompous. Living off the labor of others. Eating the flesh of animals we didn't even kill. It was good, though. <laughs> the tarragon glaze was impeccable. The creme brulee was a poem. Of course, quality isn't the point. No, no, it's a moral issue. And if it's food you want, why, I'll cook you a hearty American meal. Lentils and okra over our open fire. My mouth is watering already. Lilith, I'm thinking something. And I, I think you're thinking it too. But neither of us wants to admit that we're thinking it for fear that the other one isn't thinking it. So I think it's very important that we both say what we're thinking simultaneously. If indeed we are thinking the same thing, and uh, I think we are. So, are you ready? I, I want to go, go home. home. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks.
If we drive 70 all the way, do you think we can make it to Laporta's for the 10 o'clock seating? No, I don't think so. Then we'll try to replace. That's the beauty of civilization. You can buy anything. 